Good evening. It's been a day of celebration and huge relief for supporters of Acorns Children's Hospice in Walsall. The charity is now safe from closure. For the last two years, they've been fighting for its future, raising £2 million to protect vital care for hundreds of poorly children and their families. Celebrity friends have also rallied to keep Acorns open. Our Black Country reporter Ben Godfrey has spent the day there. Yay! They've done it. Almost two years after Acorns Warsaw faced near certain closure, they've secured its long-term future. The families, staff and volunteers gathered in the spring sunshine to celebrate reaching their £2 million target. We're just so thrilled for the local children and the local families. You know, I've never seen anything like it. I've worked in charity for 30 years. I've never seen such passion to achieve a, an outcome. It's been totally humbling. We're going to make some shields. In 2019, there'd been a sharp fall in legacy donations, also in takings in their shops. And the cost of providing care was spiralling. In essence, the future was grim for a charity running three hospices. What we've been through wasn't for nothing because our families and members of staff have worked so hard to prove that we're worth keeping and to raise so much money. Acorns Warsaw opened in 1999 and they support around 200 children with life-limiting conditions. I think if I, if I had left not knowing if it was going to be closed or not, it would have really like, been really sad because... The local family, they've been my family like for six years. Like the relationships, getting to know them, it's been amazing. Isabella Little had neuroblastoma, a rare childhood cancer. We are coming home, yeah! In April 2019, Isabella died. Her parents, Mark and Jen, then led the hospice appeal. And today, an arts and crafts room has been renamed in their daughter's memory. It was just the thought when I heard two years ago that other parents weren't going to get that level of support that we got. Um, I thought this can't happen. Um, in Isabella's memory, we've got to do everything we can to ensure that this, this place stays open for the people of, of the black country because it's just, it's just needed. The NHS, locally and nationally, pledged more than half a million pounds. And then some famous faces backed the appeal to help the public get them over the line. We're a quarter of the way there, so please, if you haven't donated yet, please do so. Well done, everyone, and things can only get better. And keep on going by order of the Peaky Blinders. Thank you. We heard of collections going around pubs, fates, cake stalls, children donating their pocket money, pensioners coming across town. There was one lady who took three buses on her own with a ton of cash in, in a plastic bag. <laughs> Children's hospices will still face funding uncertainty and the pandemic has tested their resolve like never before. But here, the doors have stayed open throughout and that is not going to change. It's a beautiful day today, the sun's shining um, and I know that that's Isabella looking down um, and saying we did it. <laughs> We've done it. Um, it's just a phenomenal day. Ben Godfrey, BBC Midlands Today. Warsaw. Brings it home to you, doesn't it, when you see how much this means to the people directly involved, the families, the mums and dads and the people who work at the hospice.